Welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be reviewing the Boss BE10 ACP. So I just installed this uh, in my 05 Cadillac CTS and I wanted to kind of share my thoughts and opinions just because there's not a video uh, made on this and there really wasn't too much information. Uh, I know Boss is considered a budget brand and this was about $329. And again, there wasn't a lot of information on this, even from the website, it didn't show much. So I have it installed, hooked up. I'm gonna go through the menu items and then give you my impressions so far. Uh, one thing is I don't have the backup camera hooked up yet. This unit does have a front and, and back camera input, which I'll get to event eventually, but Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the radio and see how long it takes to boot. That was one of my main concerns. I haven't timed it yet, but let's see how it goes. All right, not bad. And then we can just click Android Auto. Uh, what I loved about this was the screen. It has a massive screen on it. This is also a single DIN unit. And you know, one nice thing you can do about it is you can move it around a little. So we could, we could bring it down. We could raise it up, move it left and right a little. And that was the main uh, feature that I liked about it, just this big massive screen and the resolution's pretty good um, You know, it's not amazing uh, But you know it gets the job done for what I wanted I kind of picked sound quality as secondary even though it does sound really good I really just wanted this big navigation screen so let's go back home first and kind of look at uh, just the different settings and and the layout. So this is your main screen right here. You have your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, you know, music streaming, USB. Um, you have your camera again. Mine's not actually plugged in right now, uh, but I will get to that later. This brings you back home. You have your tuner. So just just a standard tuner here. Uh, you know, change stations. You have some options here. Uh, region. I'm not sure what all this means actually. I don't really listen to the radio. Um, but it's your standard tuner. It does work just fine. Your Bluetooth calling, that works um, for me. I, I don't want to say perfect because I can't hear myself on the other side, but people have said that they've you know heard me clearly. Uh, you have your AV in. Uh, you have your EQ settings. So you can go through these. It has a standard pop, hip hop. Then you have your user settings that you could you could change however you want. Uh, you can leave it off, but I just leave it on rock. I like how that sounds. Uh, then we get into the regular options here. Um, so you can change your language, time zone, you know, date and time, uh, daylight saving time, which is just an easy way to change it by an hour. Uh, the system tone being on or off, you know, power off delay, uh, factory reset, you know, just standard stuff going on here. As far as audio goes, your balance and fader, so you can move this around if you want. You can hit reset. Um, turn the subwoofer off. Uh, they got the filter, level, again, the EQ again, uh, a loudness toggle. Um, you know, use the internal amp or not, uh, your default volumes for all the different things that are going on, uh, your source levels. So, you know, you can turn the radio down, but have the USB sound be a lot louder. Um, so I like how it gives you the options for all those things. Uh, let's see, the display, um, you can change the gamma for day, gamma for night, and that, you know, gives it nice customization. Um, brightness for the day, night brightness. You have your LEDs, which are down here. You can change those colors however you want. 
you can turn it on so it just rotates through them all. But I like just sticking on red. The wallpapers are pretty weak. Uh, you don't really see them too often anyway. They're really behind all the stuff. So you got six wallpapers to choose from. I really wish you could have uploaded one, but uh, it's not possible. Uh, background brightness. We got the Bluetooth. Right now it's not connected to anything, but you have your auto connect, auto answer. Um, again, the camera. Um, you can turn these off if you want. You know, change the little view, parking assist. Mine's not hooked up right now. I actually have it just sitting on the floor. I'm gonna get to it eventually. So, you know, that your basic customization is nothing too crazy, but you know, it gets the job done and that's why I like it. Um, you have your assist button here. Google, what's 10 times two? The answer is 20. Awesome, thank you. But uh, you don't even have to say you know Google on that. I'm just so used to saying "Hey Google," which also works. Sorry, what would you like me to check? Nothing. Oh, okay. Okay. So Android Auto, that's what I use the most so far. It's connected 100%, no issues. Um, any issue is usually on my phone. Um, but let's see. Uh, I don't know why it's popping up. We'll go here. Safe Nest Auto donations may close within one hour of when you arrive. Awesome. We're going to continue. Valley Drive toward Wicker Ridge, then turn right onto Wicker Ridge. So you have your regular na navigation. It works exactly like all the other Android um, autos do. Um, let's see. You got your settings, uh, traffic satellite. Um, you have, you know, just your guidance audio so you can turn you can adjust the volume of the voice guidance with your car's controls but only when it's speaking you can adjust the volume of the voice guidance so, with your car's controls but only when it's uh, so you can raise that that way it cuts through the music that you're playing um, but there's not too much to say about about this uh, because it works just like Android Auto does um, one thing I do like about this radio though it does have a volume knob here Oh probably shouldn't turn that up uh, and you can listen to your music while you have your directions on the bottom there um, let's see other buttons you got the mode button right here you can just you know change what you're in you're in Android Auto you can choose AV input um, let's see then you got your band it just brings you back here so Not too many buttons going on, um, but there's really, you know, it's a very simple radio that just has a really big screen on it. Installation was, you know, pretty easy. It's standard, match the wires, wire colors, solder them. Um, and it doesn't take, it's not a double din, so you still have, let's see. I don't know if you can see that, but I still have like the little drawer down here that I can slide my phone into if I want. Um, it has two USB inputs which is nice. Uh, I have it, you know, ran to my cigarette lighter down here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I like the sound of it. Uh, it does break up in the higher, uh, you know, higher volumes once you get that all the way maxed, but it's, it's plenty loud already. Um, especially so the, with the component speakers that I have and the woofer in the back, uh, it gets loud enough. The next thing I would say, if you really wanted some crisp, you know, loud sounding music that's very clear, uh, you know, getting uh, an amp for it, um, you know, if that's your main concern. But I think this, you know, this upgrades my car's look, makes it newer. Um, I feel a lot better now. I, I don't want to go out and buy a new car. That's part of the reason why I bought this. I was trying to just upgrade my car because there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, but all in all, I, 329 bucks. I think it's a, a great deal. Uh, I got everything that I wanted from it. Ideally, if this was made by like Alpine or Kenwood or someone that had, you know, a little better, um, you know, preamps and everything built in the head unit, that'd be the way the way to go. But uh, you're, you're not going to get that from Alpine for you know 329 dollars. So uh, I definitely recommend uh, this head unit. Um, and it, so I hope this video helped 
Um, anyone looking to buy this and cleared up, you know, some things that were a mystery, you know, surrounding this. And, you know, if you, if you like my reviews, hit the like and subscribe button, leave me a comment if you have any questions on this. I know I just did a brief overview, um, but I'll test it out on the head unit and I'll let you know um, what I find based on your question. And if you'd like to purchase this and support my channel, I'll have a link in the description um, that you, way you can go and buy it. It helps me, you know, and then you get, you get what you want. And you know, it's just, it's a way of showing your support by using the links in the description. Uh, but that's all I have for this review and I will catch everyone next time.